Some of those places are movie theaters, casinos, and bowling alleys like this one in Colorado Springs. I spoke to the owner who says enough is enough. It's been rough. It really has. Unlike restaurants, shops, and other establishments, Pinhead's Bowl hasn't seen any business since mid-March due to COVID-19 restrictions. We're doing, starting doing very, very well, and then this hit. Co-owner Chuck Yaklich tells me he might not be able to keep up with the temporary closure much longer. Probably another month. If he's not allowed to open soon. Could be devastating. But in the meantime, he wants to show El Paso County and state leaders what safety measures he's taking in the hopes that restrictions will be lifted before it's too late. It can be done. And I think bowling can do as well as anybody else. He said signs like these made to promote social distancing when people check in and when they're on the lanes. We've set up every other lane. There's six feet between the two lanes. As far as balls and shoes, you know, if we are going to ask everybody to just leave them on the lanes. We'll come down, we'll disinfect them, we'll spray them. As far as like down here, your keyboards and such, you know, once someone's done bowling, we'll come down here, we'll make sure we'll clean it all off. Along with sanitizing stations throughout the center, Yaklich says employees will be required to wear face masks, and it will be recommended that customers do the same. Yaklich says he's received a call from El Paso County Public Health asking him to submit his reopening plans, which will be presented to the Board of County Commissioners next week. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Katie Blaze, News 5.